What's up Shark Army, it's me Game Shark, and welcome back to another video. Today, I am going to be showing you 7 beautiful amazing farming PC games that are very similar to the famous Stardew Valley, which you can all play today. Most of us have put hours and hours into Stardew Valley over the years, and we've just about done everything that we can possibly do in the game, which leaves us nothing left to see or achieve in the game, and we are slowing down with the farm chores in Pelican Town. But what most people aren't aware of, that there are tons of amazing games out there which are similar to Stardew Valley, that we can all play, and put even more hours into to get that amazing feeling of owning our very own farm again. And today I am going to share with you 7 amazing games that I love the most, that I have played and it brings back the good vibes just like Stardew Valley did and still does, but it fills in the gaps when Stardew Valley is getting a little slow and boring or repetitive. Or maybe you just want to see and play a brand new game, something new and fresh. So if you are a Stardew Valley fan, sit back, enjoy this video because we are starting with number 7. And making number 7 on today's video is a game called World's Dawn. World's Dawn is a colourful life and social simulator set in a sleepy seaside village. Inspired by the Harvest Moon series, it features vibrant top-down graphics, a huge cast of quirky characters to meet and befriend, and 30 plus hours of charming gameplay. Soak in the enchanted, whimsical atmosphere of Sugar Blossom Village as you build friendships, find love, harvest crops, tend livestock, customise your farm, compete in festivals, discover magical secrets and much more. This is a very simple game but with lots to do and explore which gives you the great nostalgia of the classic farming game such as Harvest Moon and Stardew Valley. World's Dawn is developed and published by Wayward Prophet and got released back in 2016. You can find this game on Steam which can be picked up for a small price of £6.99 and in my opinion this game is a must get and you've got to try it out. The story is amazing, the characters are really nice to talk to and get to know, it's just a game that makes you feel happy. But also some amazing news for the fans of this game, the developer is also making a sequel to this game called A Story Beside which is a follow up to World's Dawn and it is planned to get released in December 2018 on Steam so go check that one out also, it looks fantastic, that's kind of two games in one there but it doesn't matter. The sixth game similar to Stardew Valley that you can play today is a game called Fantasy Farming Orange Season. Now Fantasy Farming Orange Season is a farming simulation game developed by Tropical Puppy it was released on April the 21st in 2017 as an early access title on Steam. Game development is still in progress as we speak. Fancy Farming Orange Season follows in the footsteps of many other farming simulation games out there. Planting crops, raising livestock, befriending the villagers, pursuing romantic relationships and exploring the wilderness are just some of the major gameplay elements that players can experience. But there are tons more stuff that you can do in this game, such as enter festivals, customise your farm, you can fish and you can even have a villager or a companion follow you and participate in things that you do. The game follows a 24-7 time cycle, with the calendar year containing 4 months, spring, summer, fall and winter, and each month is 31 days long. There are lots more to come which will be added to the game over time, it's always getting updated, and some of the upcoming features are several festivals which are inspired by real life festivities from around the world. There's going to be more than 30 different types of animals to come, there's going to be a full marriage system with dozens of potential spouses regardless of gender. There'll be a rival marriage system also where, the, where you can influence who ends up with who and there will be lots of several fun mini games. You can pick this game up on Steam for £10.59. <laughs> The next game to make it on my list at number 5 is a game called Gleaner Heights. Gleaner Heights is a game about making a living as a farmer. It was released on the 21st of Feb in 2018 and it is a classic cartoonish farming simulator with charming pixel graphics and a host of activities outside of the daily chores. Like the Harvest Moon games before it, Gleaner Heights encourages players to make the most of their situation and find a balance between growing crops and fostering relationships with the residents of the sleepy town that your farm borders. It's familiar in its design, almost to the point of monotony. 
anyone who spent time in a digital farm will adapt to the game quickly. But then again, not everything in the titular town is as it seems. After a hard day's work, just when the sun goes down, the small town secrets come to light. There is a darkness here. Everybody has something to hide. And you will find yourself coming across many crazy events, such as psychotic lovers and murderers. So be careful as you walk around in this mysterious town filled with mysterious people. You can't trust everyone here. Experience the old school charm of a classic farming game with the suburban gothic atmosphere of a certain 90s TV shows, along with contemporary game mechanics. Farming, crafting, combat, romantic relationships and mysterious events to wait. This isn't like any other farming game out there. It is a lot more dark and gothic. But you can currently pick this game up on Steam for £7.19 and I recommend this highly if you do fancy a different take to a classic farming game. Number 4, another great game on the list. This one is a little different from the rest though, but it's called Staxel. Staxel is a creative farming and village life game with a cast of quirky characters. Build your farmhouse, help villagers, take to the wilds to fish or hunt for bugs and grow a variety of crops in your backyard. If you're feeling social, you can even invite your friends over to share the fun. In Staxel, you are tasked with restoring the farm to its former glory as the newest resident in a building village. While they may have their quirks, the other residents will help you get settled in, return the favour and help the village flourish. When you're not hanging out with the newfound friends or working on your farm, you could be pursuing a new hobby, completing one of the many collections in the game, spending your hard earned money on the precious seeds or lending a hand and making your mark on the town. Staxel's voxel based sandbox world lets you alter your surroundings however you like and with a rich selection of in-game materials and an intuitive approach to modding, you can truly create your own unique world within the game. Will you grow the village while keeping its rustic charm or take it on an entirely new direction? Perhaps you'd rather leave the village and focus on your own projects. It is all up to you and your creativity is exactly the tool for the job. Staxel is currently an early access game on Steam as well and it can be purchased for £14.99. If you love Minecraft and Stardew Valley, this game is definitely for you, especially if you are a creative person and love building without limitations. Now, down to the top three. These are my personal favourite farming games that are obviously similar to Stardew Valley. Some people can even argue that they are better, but starting with number three, it is a game that we are all familiar with now, and that is Graveyard Keeper. Graveyard Keeper is the most inaccurate medieval cemetery management sim of the year, or maybe of all time. Build and manage your own graveyard while finding shortcuts to cut costs, expanding to entertainment with witch burning festivals and scare nearby villagers into attending the church. This is a game of capitalism and doing whatever it takes to build a thriving business. This task driven story progression is where Graveyard Keeper sets itself apart from many other farming sims. Almost everything that you need or want to do requires multiple steps, including completing another goal first or interacting with a certain hard to find character. There aren't many simple gathering or fetch quests here, instead you'll dig up, pun intended, the past lives of other townspeople, uncover dark secrets and even fight your way through dark dungeons. Too often when we are playing the calm in Stardew Valley, we find ourselves wondering what to do next. The open ended nature of farming sims sometimes ends up being more overwhelming, even confusing than exciting. But in Graveyard Keeper, the extensive to do list is tied directly to different storylines. Because of this, we can tackle projects that correspond to the ones that we want to see through. Those tasks are far from simple projects to complete and move on from. They are necessary, challenging steps for learning more about Graveyard Keeper's unsolved mysteries, even menial tasks like beautifying the graveyard. It can have an important influence on the story. Graveyard Keeper hasn't completely uprooted the farming slash management sim genre though. I still spent my first few hours gathering items, crafting and running around introducing myself to the townspeople, but the reward for that effort is uncovering the intrigue at the Part of the story, which always surprises me and keeps me ploughing ahead. And that is not something that you get out of the casual life in Stardew Valley. 
nor do we expect to. One downside to the game though that some people do dislike is how grindy and slow the game is to progress. So if you do not like that sort of thing then this game won't be for you, but Graveyard Keeper can be picked up on Steam for £15.49 and pence, and is also available on Mac and Xbox One. The second game, similar to Stardew Valley, that we can all play right now is called Kinseed. I have spoke about and shown this game a lot on my channel for a very long time now, since the very first stages of development. But Kinseed is finally early access game on Steam and you can play it today. Kinseed is being made by Pixel Count Studios, one of the baby phoenix chicks that has sprung from the ashes of Lionhead Studios. Their fledging studio consists of two Lionhead veterans who have been involved in every Fable game. Their goal as a studio is to continue the spirit of Lionhead with games that are charming, humorous, very British and eccentric, and Kinsey definitely fits that. Kinsey is a sandbox RPG adventure life simulator. Live your life in a quirky world where everyone ages and dies, including your pets. Take control of the mystical Kinsey and grow your family's legacy over generations as you pass your skills and powers down to your children. You can run a business such as a blacksmith or a tavern, or even a goods store. You can go adventuring in dangerous regions and battle dark fairy tale creatures. You can farm your land to create various ingredients that you will come to rely on. Develop relationships with the NPCs who have their own lives and loves, and who will remember your deeds, actions, and even pranks. You can find proverbs around the world to unlock the secrets of each ingredient, creature, and inhabitant of a place where folk tales are all true. Gather materials to create better items, you can craft beers or mix cures for a range of bizarre maladies that sometimes afflict the simple people of the land. You can even buy strange artifacts from the mysterious fey gentleman, Mr. Fairweather, which can aid your chores, help you in combat, or let you just mess with the world. But do be aware of the life tax that he extracts annually. In Kinseed, just live your life the way you choose, in a loving handcrafted 2D open world. You can purchase the early access for just £7.49 on Steam, which is a bargain for what you get, and is a must buy in my opinion. One downside to the game though, is that there is just not much added in the early access yet. You may find that you've done everything possible within a few days of playing, or even a few hours if you grind that much. But each month from now, the devs are giving us updates with new features and brand new content to keep us happy and playing. There is a lot more to come and loads more to be added in this game, so just give it time and the game will flourish. Okay, so it's took a while, but we are down to the last spot, and this one is one of, or if not, the best game that you can play today, which is similar to Stardew Valley, and it will make you forget your life, and this is called My Time at Porsche. A very popular game with the public, I know many of you people know this and already play it, it's played by thousands and thousands of people daily with extraordinary reviews and much love. My Time at Porsche is also an early access game as well, but this does get updated very frequently and it plays beautifully with no bugs or glitches and tons of content to check out and play through for an early access game. This game is basically finished, unlike most other early access games. It is developed by Pathia Games and it's published by Team 17. It got released in January 2018 this year. My Time at Porsche is a simulation RPG game. The world is set in a post-apocalypse setting. Humans are few and relics from the past are everywhere. You will need to start a new life in a town on the edge of civilization called Porsche. You will start a workshop and build things with relics from the past for the betterment of society. The goal of the game is to make the workshop as big as possible. The world is enriched with other NPCs that have their unique behaviours. Characters will go to school, do their jobs, they'll work out and have fun. They also have unique stories for you to experience. You will be able to get into relationships with other characters, either friendships or romances. Romances can end in marriages. Players can gather materials from an open world, you can cut down trees, pick up herbs, mine in the ruins, even plant your own gardens and raise animals. And a new update, you can ride horses. There are vast areas for you to explore around Portia. Deserts, islands, reefs, islands, marshlands, and much more. And each area brings their own unique items and monsters. There are two different types of dungeons in the game. You can gather relics and ores from the abandoned dungeons and fight off monsters to gain luck in the hazardous dungeons. You will have a truly memorable time in this game of a warm and welcoming little town full of experiences. 
The game looks so beautiful, you will find yourself getting lost in this stunning game. You will be looking around and turning your head at every corner with your mouth wide open as you explore this historical land. This game has everything and you can pick it up on Steam for a great price of £15.99 and in my opinion it is so worth the purchase because there is hours and hours of gameplay and amazing content. So much to do to the point that you'll never get bored. You'll not want to come off this game once you start playing. But that is it guys, 7 amazing games similar to Stardew Valley that we can play today. All of these games are out now, some are in early access but still playable and enjoyable. And they will fill the gap that Stardew Valley just don't fill nowadays as it has been out for a very long time. I will put links in the description for all of these games that I mentioned so you can go and check them out on Steam and I do hope you enjoyed this video and maybe found a new game that you can play and to lose many hours in. If there are any other amazing PC games similar to Stardew Valley that you know which are out and playable that I didn't mention in today's video then please drop it in the comments below for others and myself to check out. And make sure you do subscribe to the channel guys if you are new here and also hit that bell to get notified when I upload but I'm gonna end that one there thank you all for watching it's been me picking up the sea and I'll see you guys on the next one bye bye